IFOS SD, the first IFOS, was Windows only. Most computers come with a large program called an operating system. It usually knows how to deal with common devices like keyboards and mice, but it doesn't know how to deal with all devices. That's where device drivers come in. These are special programs written specifically to interface between a novel piece of hardware and the operating system. The problem is those drivers are specific to the operating system and uh, that means if you plug the device into another machine that runs a different operating system it won't work. And whilst you can write drivers it's a very difficult process if you have no experience in that area. What makes the IFOS HD so different is that it uses a camera board which contains its own built-in driver. And that driver presents the device as a generic USB camera which almost any operating system can understand. The potential fly in the ointment is the software. The Theramino software only runs on Windows. And the solution to that, at least one of them, is Spectral Workbench, which is an application which runs in a browser and so in theory it will work um, wherever a browser can run. Currently the authors say it will run in any Windows machine, in all the Linux variants and in iOS with a slight loss of functionality. So let's see Spectral Workbench in action. This is an old notebook computer and it's running Ubuntu 12.1 um, I believe. This is my own IFOS HD just plug the IFOS into the USB socket of this Ubuntu machine. Here I'm running the Chromium browser. And then Spectrum Workbench, just click Capture Spectrum. You can see the software reporting that the Spectrum's too bright. You can download a utility to regain the exposure controls on the IFOS. I haven't bothered here, what I've done is just move the IFOS off axis and I'm getting a a non-uniform brightness spectrum and I'm just selecting the line that I sample from that to get a good um, brightness and there you see the spectrum there are a variety of different display modes which you can use uh, and that's pretty much it this is not a tutorial on using spectral workbench the guys have prepared excellent training material on that on their website so I'll leave you to investigate that further but here we can see that the IFOS HD now runs on all Windows platforms, uh, Unix variants and iOS with a minor temporary loss of functionality. So I hope you found that interesting, uh, just another reason why you might want to, to buy an IFOS if you're not a Windows bod. Okay well, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.